good evening to all who are watching tonight. We want to welcome you in that all-powerful and that wonderful name of Jesus. Aren't you glad that the Lord is with you? Aren't you glad that he has restored your strength today? Today marks our third day of our fasting and prayer. And aren't you feeling good? Aren't you feeling strengthened? Is it something happening within you? And I believe today that God is doing something about God. We need to ever God's people. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, we're going to run and not grow weary. We're going to walk and we will not grow faint. You know why? Because I believe we have this inner power within us. We have the power of the Holy Ghost that's allowing us to walk. We are not going to faint, people of God, because we're going to rise up and be strengthened by the power of His might. And you know how else we're going to be strengthened? We're going to be strengthened by the name of Jesus, because there is power in the mighty name of Jesus. Now this evening we have a powerful man of God, Apostle Sanjay Balaram. We want to welcome him to Church of the Harvest, and I'm glad you can look forward to something great and awesome, because a man of God has come to bless you. And tonight as we would worship the Lord together in that powerful name, there's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All sick bodies are healed. And as the handmaiden of God comes right now and lead us, we want you just to gather your families, praise and worship with us. And I believe that the windows of heaven are open and something great is going to happen. Amen. God bless you.
Let's begin to give him some worship tonight. As we lift up our voices, we praise you tonight. You're ready to be praised. Come on, somebody. Bless the name of 
Jesus Christ, Dr. Andre Padia, Pastor Elaine, and Alden and his sister, and every one of you from this church, the Church of the Harvest. We're so glad that we could come to your house today. We're so glad that we could be part of you today. Uh, if you were tuned in yesterday, you would hear Pastor Elaine spoke such a powerful, powerful word. We there in Chatswood, we received that word. We received whatever was being spoken in that place. And, and, and we just was enjoying her. Uh, but today, before we continue, I sense in the worship there was such an anointing. I sense in the worship there was such a power. And so, um, we want to sing two songs together. The reason why I'm going to sing the song, the Lord requested for my spirit. I want to first thank Dr. Andre for connecting and calling me. And a year ago, we've been talking about coming and doing stuff. What a powerful man of God you have. But I also want to appreciate Pastor Elaine. I've been watching her for many, many years. And I've seen the power of God move in this couple. And I'm so excited to be connected. I want to take this opportunity of thanking him. To, uh, in 2019, he was the one that ordained me as an apostle. And I appreciate you, sir, for that. And um, we take out our hands to him and we pray for him. He's a special brother. We speak to each other every day and we connect with each other. God has some great plans for this church. And the Lord has a good word for this church. I came to preach to you today about you'll never see me where you left me. And I'm going to speak that word into your life. But before we do that, the Spirit of the Lord, as I was driving here, said to me that I should sing two songs together with the worship team. And those of you that are sick in your house, we won't have a chance a little later to do altar call and pray with you. But those of you that are sick in your house, you need to be wherever you are. We're going to pray. You need to touch your body. You need to speak into your life as we worship with these two songs, then you can announce and testify on Facebook Live that you will heal. In the next six to seven minutes, you are going to testify of what you've been healed. There is the power of the Holy Spirit today here, manifesting its presence, coming through the airwaves, changing the atmosphere. The supernatural must work. And so we came to sing with you as you get involved. I don't care whether you got cancer. I don't care whether you got diabetes. I don't care whether you got pressure. I don't care whether you got issues. Right now, as you sing with us, all right? If you're driving, I'd like you to please park your car one side because I want you to lift your hand and worship with us. Open your eye and worship with us. So the worship team will help me. I hope I sing one key. And <laughs> so we get it right. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? Every other day, say, Sarah, 
I felt my, my knee where there was inflammation there. I felt my ankle. I felt my hip. I felt my back. I felt my head. I felt my, my headache leave me in this time. Your third day. You're coming out on the third day. You've been fasting. You've been praying. I can tell you. You'll never see me when you left me. You're going to make that as your, as your slogan on your WhatsApp today. Whatever you are. Lord, we just thank you today. This church, Lord, bless this church. Bless this church, Lord. Bless this church. Supernatural from the north, south, east. I came to release a grace in this church. Into progress. Into next. Right now, overtake. Acceleration. There'll be a new song. There'll be a movement in this place. From wherever they are, whatever sphere they are, they will just multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply. And multiply. I speak to all the families in this church. This church that has been looked after. My brother and my sister, Pastor uh, Elaine and Doctor. Bless those people. I speak for money to come. I speak for healings to come. I speak for your anointing to come. I speak for blessings to come. There'll be new souls in this place. Everyone that's watching me, in your family, there's somebody right now who's struggling with drugs. I fractured that deal. I just look at the demon, that, that, that addiction. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Today is the day. Right now. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Whatever it's not, whether it's rock, cocaine, LSD, sugars, whatever it is. Pow! Let it be known today that today you were healed from that. In Jesus' name. I pray right now, Lord, as we sense, we lift our antennas up to you, and we can sense that we're tapping into the frequency of the supernatural realm. We send out, Lord, our signal to you, our areas to you, our antennas to you. The frequency of Lord of the Holy Spirit, the various faculties. The various anointings, the various levels to just multiply in this place. In the next few minutes, as I speak to you, I want you to listen to me. The Lord's here. Jesus Christ is the first and the last, He's the Alpha and Omega, He's the beginning and the end. I'm so glad. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that I'm a Christian. And in such a time like this, I can worship the Lord and say that my God is Jesus Christ. All right. And so, God, today on behalf of the Kids and Ambassadors Fellowship, we really want to congratulate our dear brother for what he's doing in this place. We sense God's move in this place, God's glory in this place, God's power in this place, the baptism of the Holy Ghost in this place, healings in this place. You know, when we were worshiping the Lord, I'm not sure if the worship team heard this, as we were worshiping the Lord and singing the songs, I sensed the entire room got filled with heavenly hosts. And there were different music, musical instruments that could hear in my ears. The orchestra of heaven was here with us today. And so, I just want to tell you a short story. And then we're going to pray for you because of time. I'm so glad to be here. I'm from Chatswood. Uh, Chatswood, we can handle you for free. I don't know if you know about that, but anyway. Uh, Granwood is a very quiet place. Alright. <clears throat> can I get some? Mm -hmm. 
Mark, Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Right now, as I speak to you, there's a lady by the name of Patsy. I don't know why I gave her name in my head. Your name is Patsy. And you need a supernatural financial breakthrough because of all the arrears and all the issues going on in your house. I want you to contact the church. We will pray with you privately. I will bless you. I speak there right now. There was a man. His name was Bartimaeus. Because of his handicap, they called him Blind Bartimaeus. Two years ago, I was in um, Israel and uh, we did a tour there. And so at Jericho, the, the guide showed us where Jesus healed Blind Bartimaeus. The title of my message is called, You'll Never See Me When You Left Me. Every day, everybody would see Blind Bartimaeus at a certain spot where they left him. Because he was blind, he could beg. And he was begging. But he heard that Jesus was in that place. Tonight, you are hearing that Jesus is in your house. Tonight, you are hearing Jesus is in the airwaves. Tonight, you are hearing the name of Jesus. You've been fasting and you've been praying. And so there's a time comes when the Holy Spirit impresses upon your heart to hear this name, Jesus. And Jesus was passing that way to live from that place in Jericho. When blind Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was leaving, there was a window of opportunity for him to contact Jesus. And he heard that he was passing that way. Whenever the word of God is spoken and Jesus is passing, do not lose the window of opportunity. This whole week, your pastors have programmed and planned supernatural meetings for you so that you could be blessed in your fasting and prayer. It is an unusual time to fast and pray in lockdown level. I don't know what day it is. And this world has been having so many deaths and so many infections. But you that are listening right now, God knows that you are not going to be touched by the virus. Right back to me, yes. Began to scream. The word of God said that he heard that Jesus was passing. And he refused to lose that opportunity. Today is the day that you must refuse to lose. Come and say, I refuse to lose. I refuse to lose. I refuse to lose my wife. I refuse to lose my husband. I refuse to lose my children. I refuse to lose my business. I refuse. Because I have Jesus with me. And so Jesus was going past that way and blind Bartimaeus began to scream, Oh Lord, thou son of David, have mercy on me. I came to tell you today that the Lord wants to have mercy on you today. I came to tell you that we need to scream and cry, Lord, have mercy on us. Oh, but you should sense the power of the Holy Ghost right now. You should sense the power of the Holy Ghost right now. You should cry out, don't lose out. That cry went to a man called Jesus. Both in Isaiah 61 and Luke chapter 4, that man Jesus, the both authors write that Jesus stated that the Spirit of the Lord is upon him. set the captives free, to make the blind to see, to make the deaf to hear, the deaf to speak, the lame to walk, the broken to be mended. Tonight you're getting it mended. You're going to speak, maybe spiritually, maybe you're going to speak naturally, but spiritually you're going to speak. I speak that you will speak a spiritual 
spiritual language, a heavenly language, a godly language. And the power of God will touch you. This man heard, Jesus heard, that there was a man screaming and crying. In this fast this week, every day you cry. Until you hear Jesus speak to you. Blind Bartimaeus, the crowd told him, shut up. The crowd rebuked him. The crowd told him, keep quiet. The crowd told him, keep sit down. He didn't care. I want you not to move with the crowd. If you move with the crowds, you have to sit down. You have to shut up. You have to keep quiet. You have to be involved with them. I want you to just let it all go. Don't, uh, don't lose the window of an opportunity for God to touch you. Third time he screams. And Jesus turns. And today Jesus is standing in your house. You know, as a Christian, you're not allowed to have alcohol in your house. If you have the power of the Holy Ghost and you have God and you're a Christian, you're not allowed to have cigarettes in your house. You're not allowed to be going and having casino cards in your house. Come on, I'm speaking something. You're blocking your blessing. You're messing your blessing up. Because the Lord called this man and said, call him. In verse 15 now. He says, call him. Blind but to yes, when he heard that he said, call him, he took out his outer garments. Outer garment is the garments when you go into Israel, they cover you. That covering is to, to hide you, to duck you. Many of the people that are Christians are ducking in the secret sin. They are ducking in the sin. They are having an outer garment which is called the garment of excuse. The Christians cover themselves with a garment of excuse. That is why they can't get healed. This man said, I'm taking out my garments and I'm throwing it away because I want to prophesy and I want to shout and I want to say, you never see me where you left me. If you are next to somebody today in your house, I want you to tell them, you'll never see me where you left me. Some of you may be working in a place and they put you and they put you in, in a place where you're there for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, 20 years. You go to the boss's chair and you touch the chair and say, that chair is going to be mine. You know, when I was working many, many years ago, Doc, I used to go around and I was a, I was a small line manager, but I should tell the people properly. I was a young lady that time. I was tell them, talk to me nicely, treat me well, one day I'll be a boss. Five years later, I was the biggest boss of them. And they should remind me about that. What you say is what you have. What you confess, you possess. What your words, it has spirits. It has life. There is a flow tonight. There is a flow. I'm going to close just now. See in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, almost to 11. I went to the place where Jesus preached the Beatitudes and he preached the Sermon on the Mount and he preached the Sermon called Ask, Seek and Knock and blind Bartimaeus began to knock and he began to seek and he began to ask and Jesus called him. Jesus is calling you. Some of you are listening to us and you are, we are on your TV or we are on your computer or we are on your cell phone. But there's somebody in your house that is there now. Jesus has been calling you. You, know, you, you don't go to church. But you're in that house, your mother, your father, your, your brother, your sister has been telling you, you need to be going to the house of God, you need to give yourself to Jesus Christ. Today is the day. Don't miss this window of opportunity. And blind Bartimaeus was asked by the Lord, what can I do for you? I came to ask you today, what can the Lord do for you today? I can tell you today, 
that you never see me where you left me. Started eight, my English teacher told me, you're very naughty, you won't make it. I'm looking for my English teacher, Senator eight one. I want to call her and show her and tell her, see where I am today? I cancelled the word over her life, over my life. Because it's a prayer of my mother and my father that changed everything for me. How important it is to honor your parents. Your parents. right now. If you're not talking to your mother, you're not talking to your father, you're not talking to your brother, you're not talking to your sister, it's the time today, to today, to make it right. If you've not changed, then all of us for forgiveness or forgiven. And if you die, you're not going to make it. I don't know why I'm speaking such a strong word, but I just came to speak to you and tell you. There are many people that like to shut you up. Don't worry about them. Ah, people are taking ivermectin. People are taking uh, COVID uh, vitamin. My stomach got so much of vitamin. I don't know. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin this. But I'm eating garlic. I'm eating ginger. There is, uh, I don't know what, some pepper corn. What, what, what. My stomach is finished now. I, I've taken all those vitamins for the next 10 years. I don't think no virus can touch me for the next 10 years. Every morning, every evening, every whatever it is. Rasso, king soup, this soup, that soup, red chili, that chili, I don't know what else. You know how many different types of beans I ate? <laughs> they said to me, this bean, that bean, that bean, that will keep, keep you. I'm worried about my duvet. <laughs> Refuse to give up on Jesus tonight. Refuse to lose. Refuse to die. Refuse to be ill. Refuse to be poor. Refuse to be bankrupt. Refuse, like this man. You must receive. Say, I receive. Come and say, I receive. Because the Lord told him, He said, I want to receive my sins. I want to be healed. I want to see. The Lord want to make you see today. By the way, I've got my glasses here. I struggle to see sometimes. That's why I brought it. Let me close. We pray with you. Some of you have got some damaged organs. Some of you have got some messed up liver, terrible kidney, prostate issues, intestine issues, lung issues, throat issues. From the pharmacies of heaven, I want to tell you right now that the warehouse has got some spare parts in heaven that have manufactured the correct organ for you. Some of you got organs, like your heart has got so many different blockages. God wants to give you a brand new heart. Replace it. Come and say, I receive. God wants to heal you tonight. The Lord's taken every strife for you. I speak to you that are diabetes. You got hypertension. You that is got the stroke. You that got this problem with your C1, C2 to C6, or your L1 to L5, and you're taking all the various different stuff. I see some of you got issues with your legs, and you got uh, 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 this black marks on your legs. I see some of you got lumps in your heads. I see some of you are struggling with your nerves. Some of you are struggling with reflux issues. Some of you are struggling with digestive disorders. Some of you are struggling with AIDS and blood issues and generational curses. You'll never see me where you left me. What can I do for you? This man, after he was healed, Jesus told him, I've never seen I want you to be healed. And then he says, 
to you. He says to Jesus, I'm going to follow you. And he quits everything and he followed Jesus till he died. Blind Bartimaeus was one. If you start a scholar and you study the word, you will hear as a deep scholar, a proper understanding of the book of Luke, you will hear how Luke interviews Blind Bartimaeus and gets an answer to me. I said some of you got a slip, just you got a neck issue. And so God's gonna heal you. Frozen shoulder. Third day of fasting today. We had to worship the Lord and bless you. Because your your airtime is gonna get finished soon. Thank God for those of you that are Wi-Fi and that you connect with us here in this church. You never see me where you left me. I'm going to close with the story here. Because uh, when I was coming here, I had a phone call that my father just got very, very sick. I'm going to give you a testimony about my father and close with us and then pray with you. And hand over to Doc and probably he will do some stuff with you. When I was two years old, I drank poison by mistake and I died. And I was declared dead for four hours. And they were waiting for the watchtower to come and fetch me. So my uncle grabbed me and was taking me to a temple to, for the temple people to pray for me. It was a Saturday morning and next to my house, Pastor Lane might know I used to stay in 9 there was a bush down there, not far from where she stayed in 901. So they were cutting all the grass to put a tent, because on Sunday morning there was no piece of tent. This is 1972. You go up the right? And uh, my dad grabbed me and said, No, although they weren't Christians at the time, we won't take him there, let's take him to the pastor. And the pastor prayed for me. And he used a line in the name of Jesus Christ, life come to this child. I supposed to be dead 42, 48 years ago. But I'm still standing strong. I'm still preaching the words because of that miracle in my life. The entire family, my entire mom's family, became Christians. There could be one of you tonight that can get a miracle tonight and because of you, you can become the person that brought salvation to your house. It was my dad that carried me. I told Dr. Andre that there's one thing that he must do for me is that if I ever hear that my father passed away, it would be very difficult for me to handle that matter. That he must come, I've written everything in a page, and I'll give it to him, that he must handle everything for me. How important is your mother and father for you today? How important is never to be rebellious to them, never to be stubborn to them, to honor them and love them? I stand here today that when I go home, the phone call that will be given to me today is that my father will be healed. On Thursday is his birthday. There are some of you fathers that are listening right now. You are breaking your house. You are destroying your house. You are messing up your house. I need you to change. But still, the, the, the power of God here. Is working in each family today. There must be the reason why we had to come here today. I pull you out from the pit today. I pull you out from the mess today. I pull you out from the backslidden place today. I pull you out from the situation today. There are some very good Christians, very badly hurt and broken and, and, and disguised. Do you know how many? How many pastors are going through so hard time and people are talking bad about them? Do you know 
only pass the way to so difficult times. If you are a person that has been helping your pastor, I pray for you. I bless you. If you are a person that has been helping your church, I bless you. You know this church? I was wanting to make a, 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 a call for a seed to bless this church. But I know God's going to send this. There are some men and women that are listening right now that God's going to prompt your heart to give thousands. When I hear the news, doctor will tell me that he received 50,000. I know that there will be 10 good, beautiful business people or family that will send two grand. 2021, 20,210 grand will come to this church. I release that on your life. I bless you. As I close, I think I close five times now. Let me close for the last day. In church, we close six times. We love you. And you are very special to us. And we do all this so that you can live. You can have a protection. You must never leave the umbrella of protection. Every day. Don't, if you're feeling you want to eat a cookie, you want to eat a biscuit, you want to eat a, a soup, you want to eat something in that time, go read. Open the scripture readings. Just be strong in this fast. Be strengthened. If you can't make it okay, we pray for you, go eat it, it's okay. But if you can make it, yeah, fine. Some people take medication, all those things. But you have got to take a chance and shine. For you can see my size, I really don't like to fast. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm always there having my three meals a day. But I tell you what, it's been a struggle, but it's been good. I bless you tonight. I release the grace over you tonight. I release the power over you tonight. And I tell you that you'll never see me where you left me. In closing, your story will change. I bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Wasn't that powerful? Come on, I'm, I'm sure tonight you could just bless the name of the Lord. I told you this is a very powerful man of God. He likes response. So respond on the Facebook page. Just give him a shout out. Say, we're blessed if you were blessed. And so just encourage him because he's really been a blessing. Hallelujah. Before we close tonight, and burn, Apostle, we've been blessed. And I believe that we're going to do some big things. Um, even in this new year, um, there's a lot of things that's already incubated in our spirits. And I don't know when church is going to open, but there's something that we're working on at least for every month that we could do something of this magnitude. There'll be different men of God, different women of God uh, combining. Um, God was giving me something the other day, and we're going to be working on that together. Um, Jesus now more than ever. We're going to be doing something, but I'm not going to be premature. And let the cat out of the bag as it were. We, we will let you know about that as we even prepare for that. But I, like I said earlier, before Doc came in, Apostle came in, because I call him Doc, he calls me Doc, that's our code name, so we're okay with that. But before I get to where I, 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 I'm going to speak, please, all the fathers, if you don't have a dad in the home for whatever reason, then the next person will be the mom, all right? If the mom heads the household, if there's a guardian, I want the person that is the head of the house. We know circumstances sometimes um, prevail against us not uh, to have that man uh, of God in the house and he probably gone to be with the Lord or whatever the situation may be. But it doesn't mean that the mom can't do it. It doesn't mean that the elder brother or sister can't do it. We on Sunday morning are going to be doing some kind of powerful work. And we're going to end this fast on a high. Alright? Just some announcements for the week. Now we're going to continue with the services right till Saturday. And on Sunday morning we will continue and conclude. Now what's going to happen tomorrow? 
Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. On Saturday evening at 6 p.m. So get your data for this week. Uh, because if we were in church, people would have been here. All right? Now, I know for a fact it is difficult. But get your data. And we're going to have a blessed time. Amen? I'm going to close in prayer. But before I, I, I leave here, can we leave this on a high tonight? Powerful, maybe praise song. Let me pray with you before we go. Father, we thank you tonight for this powerful night of interaction with a great man of God. We thank you for Apostle Sanjay Balarab, and we thank you, Father, for even his dear wife and his son. We thank you for the church that he pastors, even, Lord, the great network of pastors that he heads. And I pray today, Lord, a supernatural blessing upon him. I thank you today, Father, for the grace that's upon him. Lord, we even lift today, oh God, even his dear dad, our Pastor Ashwin, we ask you today in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you touch him today. Father, I pray healing. I speak healing. I declare healing over him. And I know he's going to be well in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, as we pray company tonight from one another, we thank you for this. Receive the benediction. And I want to hear who's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the only wise God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the blessed and sweet Holy Spirit rest in the Bible, each one of us, now and forevermore. And everybody will say together, Amen. We're not closing yet. This praise and worship team is going to bring this meeting to an end. From me to you, good night till tomorrow night.